Alrighty, we're trying something a little different now. We're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to play a little bit of uh, multi-tabling. Try to. Uh, I'm going to concentrate on trying to slow the game down. Uh, one of the things I've noticed about myself is I tend to rush uh, because I'm always yakking about other people holding up the game, so I put a lot of pressure on myself to not do that, and I'm going to slow down. I'm going to try to slow down the game, uh, play a little more attention to my hands, and uh, the theory, if you can't beat them, join them. Uh, see if I can learn the multi-table a little bit anyhow. Uh, I, I don't think I like it as much as playing a single table, but uh, uh, everybody else seems to think there's merit in playing many tables, so I will, I will try and see how it works out. Okay, right off the bat I get King-10 and the uh, big blind and I get nothing out of it. Uh, I'm going to pop over here and go ahead and probably uh, fold that and pop back over here and probably fold that, since uh, neither one of those hands looked like they were going to turn into anything. Okay, Ace Jack suited on this one. Uh, I'm not in very good position. I'm probably just going to call. Uh, I will go ahead and just call that Ace Jack suited, not in position, and hope for a, a really favorable flop. Uh, which I did not get, so just making sure that I'm in the right window. Uh, I'll fold any bet here. Okay, popping up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fold that and popping up here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm raise this to 12. Just as a straight up blind steal, I'll go ahead and fold that. And. Uh, well, not a total blind steal. I, uh, well, okay, I'm going to go ahead and continuation bet 20 into a 24 pot and see if I can take it down. If he calls, then I'm through with it since I didn't get any part of the flop. And uh, he calls, so, uh, oh gosh, that's terrible. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and check check and uh, ooh, that's ugly we're going to go ahead and check it since uh, I'm going to call by something that beats me and probably uh, am beat anyway 7-8 okay oh well okay there you go you call a continuation bet with just any blooming okay go ahead and fold that because that's not anything and go ahead and fold that since that's not anything. There you go. Call, call a continuation bet with my pair. What can I say? Oh my, what can I say? Okay, uh, under the gun. Go ahead and fold that under the gun. Terrible position. So I, I don't know what to make of that. I'll go back and look at it and want to get a chance here and just see if there was something I missed on that. Maybe you had some other draws in addition to the pair. Uh, nothing here. Go ahead and fold it. Nothing here. Go ahead and fold it. Okay, so I can, I can hit the fold button in two tables easy enough. That was a pretty standard mechanical continuation bet over there, and he just called it, so... Uh, he'll do that in the wrong place one of these times, maybe. Okay. So I have the King-5 suit in the big blind over here. And uh, nothing over here, so I can go ahead and get rid of that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Do a check fold on this one. And I'll just go ahead and check it since it's not really anything yet. Uh, nothing much. Uh, five, six. Nothing much. Let me uh, go ahead and check that. And go ahead and uh, do a check fold on this. Five. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got nothing here. Go ahead and check that down. So again, it just seems like when you get two tables, the game moves four times as fast to me. Don't know. Um, go ahead and 
Let's fold that up. But like I said, I'm going to concentrate on slowing the game down for me so that I do take my time when I'm acting and make sure I know what I'm doing. Uh, so far, that has worked out very well. On this end, I can fold that, and on this one, I can... Uh, Jack-9 and the small blind is probably worth a call, but not that kind of a call. Okay, just a word about my setup here. I've got two hotkeys, a left arrow key and the right arrow key that toggles between the two screens. Uh, I have pre-action keys dialed in. For instance, if I hit F1, I go ahead and fold, which of course I want to check fold, which is F2. And uh, now we want to check, which is F5. And we want to fold, which again is F1. Then I check and jump up to this table, nothing's going on, nothing's going on. So I, that's how I toggle back and forth. Now I can go ahead and hit the F1 on this table and go ahead and hit the F1 on that table and see I'm through with the, all the action. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, saves, on the, saves on the wrist. Don't have too much mousing around. Uh, and when I get really good at this, I'll set up four tables and do the same thing. We have four arrow keys and I'll set them up to uh, toggle on to the... Um, now the one thing I have to make sure this is the active hand and then I don't want to do anything here. I want to go ahead and fold that. And then I go up and this and that's the active one, this is the active one. They pop up, but I notice that they are not, this is not the active window. I have to make it active and then I can fold. So that's that's a piece of garbage that party poker could probably but again, um I guess that's probably keeping me out of trouble too sometimes. Don't know. I think it, I think if it pops up it ought to be the active table, but uh uh, it's not. And I have to make it active to use my hotkeys. I'll go ahead and call uh, for 6 4 suited. And I'll call the $2 complete the small blinds. That's a pretty darn good flop. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bet that at about uh, 10. Keep an eye on the other table up there. Nothing's happening. 4 5 6. I have a flush. I don't know if he's got a better flush draw or what, but I'm going to go ahead and call that and see what the flop comes out. Four, five, six, pair of fours, check it down. I'll call almost anything he puts out there except an all in. I got a lot of outs, lots and lots of outs. Check for that up there. Go ahead and call that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make him believe that I'm trying to buy the pot or bluff it or whatever. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, jack queen. I'm going to go ahead and raise that to 45. Go ahead and bet it. Oh, While well, he's show business here, he's thinking things over down here on this other table. I've got jack queen. Um, I bet it raised it up big on the other table. And he gave it up down here. So go ahead and make sure this is the active table. Go ahead and fold that out so I can get off of that table and forget about it and see what we have here with the uh, sink of fonts. Uh, he's a, kind of a loose player from his stats. Hope you guys can see these numbers. Uh, oh boy, he, so he, he's a min raise. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and i will just fold that because I'm busy up here. Min raise. I can either push him all in, fold it, or call him. I have no idea what to do. I'll fold it. He, he could have me out kicked easily. Go ahead and just... Oh! Oh, he showed me ace-ace. Uh, thank you. I'll give him a nice hand. Uh, fold that out. I don't under the gun. Okay, this we're not doing too good. That was uh oh well, what can I say? Pull that to raise. Uh, get this one active, get that one active, nothing as so much is happening here. <laughs> like I said, this when I'm playing two tables they seem to move twice as fast. Yeah, that's nothing. But 
I've uh, played that one on the upper left. About as good as a head top pair. Uh, modest kicker. He re-raised me. Forget it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and raise this up to uh, 14. Steal the blinds. Got position if anybody calls. And I don't have to deal with it. Okay, I've got 2-2 two, two up here. Uh, I'll go for it. Go ahead and just check it and uh, hope for a 2 on the flop. Uh, don't get it. So uh, we'll check that down. Fold that. Not going to call for it. This 2-2 two, two just don't turn into much unless you get another 2. Okay, queen three. Okay, ace king. We'll go ahead and raise that up when we get a chance here. Go ahead and put. Okay, go ahead and fold that to a big raise, and then. Uh, okay, he raised me fifteen. I'm going to go ahead and pop it back about uh, forty-five, just because I don't feel like uh, fooling with anybody. And let him know that uh, if he wants to play, he's going to have to pay up a little bit more. i go ahead and fold that guy out, so. Got to make sure I got the right table up when I hit these buttons. Oh, boy. Uh, go ahead and fold that out, because I don't need to deal with it. Okay, what do we got here? He's probably got a pair. It's a, it's a coin flip if I push. And, uh, I, I don't feel like flipping a coin. He probably had me beat. I mean, he had a, he probably had a pair. At best, I'm tied. He didn't do that with ace king, ace queen. Pull that down. F6-6 six, six up here. Uh, we'll go ahead and call most anything. Looking for a set. So I've had to do, on this table here, I've had to lay down a bunch. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and raise this to 14 and just go ahead and try to take it down. Okay, I have one caller. I'm going to go ahead and check this down. 6, 7, 8, eight a little 8 gives me uh, some help here. Pair of sixes. I mean, this is terrible because I got nothing. I mean, nothing. Forget it. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And on the bottom here, I've got uh, five, four suited, but woefully out of position. But two lippers making the pot fat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and peel one off here. That was a good peel. I'm going to go ahead and check this since it doesn't look too, uh, too out of whack. Hold this, give me back to here. Okay, now I've got to go ahead and bet pot. I'm going to go ahead and bet pot here. And, uh, oh. How much has he got? I'm going to go ahead and, how much is in the pot here? 30, 50, I'm going to go ahead and raise it to about 150. That will, 175 will commit him to the pot, and uh, he calls it, he'll have to call all the way, and he does, okay, fine, he's probably got me out kicked, oh, he had a pair of kings, oh my, my, alrighty, well, there you go, see, I guess he didn't believe me, <laughs> not sure why, but, uh, okay, uh, call two, um, under one limper, I'll go ahead and peel, peel that one off, and uh, he raises big, which is what you should have done the last time. <laughs> Again, I, I barely have time to think, much less go back and look up hands. Fold that out. Don't need to do that. Fold this. And uh, do a F7 over here to look and see what he had on that. Oh, boy. I'd say nothing happened. Okay, five, four. So I had King King. He raised it to 12 and uh, got one, two callers. I checked. He checked. Oh, that was his downfall. He gave me a free shot at that five. 
that was his downfall. He checked behind. 5-5, five, five, Jack Flop. I had 5-4. He checks. I check. He checks. The next guy checks. And now he... Then I go ahead and bet when I catch my... Uh, oh, he was beat anyhow. What am I talking about? I checked. He checked behind, which wouldn't have made the slightest bit of difference to him. Because uh, he was beat anyhow, because I already had the 5. So I fooled him. So... He didn't do anything silly. I just uh, had him in a bad spot. I'll go ahead and fold that out. Of, okay, so I had I had flopped the trips right out of the bat. I checked it. He checked his kings behind. Uh, then when I checked again, he bet. No, when I bet, he bet. I don't know. Something happened. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and make this 14. And uh, it's just there we go. That's the that's the action we liked right there. So anyhow, I'm trying to sit there trying to analyze something. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bet 14 again. And let's see what he wants to do. He's apparently thinking it over. I'm going to follow that and get back on my... Oh, he raises. Uh, I've got positions. I'm going to go ahead and call this raise. Of course, I have to hit. And if he really bets out strong, I'm going to have to... He bets out strong. He bets near pot. So he's probably got 10-10, jack-jack, 9-9. Nine, nine, who knows? Could have hit a set, ace-king, ace-queen... Any of those hands beat me, I'm out of here. In fact, I'm not sure I should have called that ace jack now that I think about it. Now I had position. I'm going to go ahead and fold that under the gun and check fold over here. And like it says, I'm busier there in a one arm paper hanger. But I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm trying to slow the game down. I'm not succeeding yet. And when I say slow the game down, I mean I'm trying to trying to slow myself down, uh, so that I'm not in a big hurry. That I slow down, take some time to look at things. All right, here up in this corner, I have ten jack in position. I'm going to go ahead and call that uh, nine ten jack queen. I'm going to go ahead and bet that when I get a chance. Okay, ace queen on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and bet it at 15. That's just a little continuation bet. I will raise the bottom thing if I get a chance. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and have to raise that. Uh, I don't even know what happened up here. I guess I guess I took the hand down. I don't know. Let's fold that. I'm going to go ahead and raise this to 45 and hope that I can push him off his hand. Okay, ace king isn't that great if it didn't hit. Down here I've got 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and bounce it up to 15 just for, because I probably have the best hand right this moment. Okay, took it down. I'm check folding up here. Check fold there, or fold there. Uh, check there. Four comes out up there in the upper left, I'll be in Fat City. And then if four comes out again, I'll be in Fat City. And down here, I can go ahead and fold that up here, call it 10. Sycophants has a lot of, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this 10 up here. Because uh, if I get a four and he's got an ace, we're going to have some business to do. Uh, but I didn't, unfortunately. And that uh, that doesn't look like much of nothing. I'm not even going to bother to call it. Just fold it out. Okay, we have Queen Ace here down at the bottom, so I'll have to um, kind of out of position here. Uh, I'm just going to call that because there's no real reason to raise it. i got all kinds of company here. In fact, somebody else may raise it anyhow. I'll go ahead and get rid of that hand. So okay, we certainly uh, certainly didn't get anything on that one. And unless, uh, and we got no no clubs, no nothing. So, you know, 
Queen Ace, a Queen or an Ace, if I get one for free, I might bet it a little bit. Make sure that one's the one that's live. Check it down. And we're probably nothing much is going to happen to this hand. I'll have no problem folding that. Go ahead and raise this King 10. Uh, okay, I got a caller and he's in position. I'm going to go ahead and uh, check it because he knows better. He'll call anything. Let's see if I can get my king. Uh, check that queen up there. I'm not going to call that. I'm just going to give it up since I didn't get anything out of it. Check that. 9-9. Nine, nine. We'll have to raise that. Fold that and uh, raise this to 45. That's a little bit stiff. Let's go ahead and make it 38. That's a little light. I'm going to make it 40. And that's just right. <laughs> So, uh, if I have position, then I have the best hand right now in all likelihood. And I'll fold that. Pop my get my thing back. Oh boy. Oh, he, you know, this guy's done this to me a couple of times now. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, go ahead and call that on a, on a dry. Okay. No, if. Depending on what he's got here, go ahead and fold that. Okay, he's betting like he's got it. Uh, I'm behind in two places at least. So that was not that was not productive. I'll go ahead and fold it. He might have stole that, but uh, any king, any jack, I, I can't imagine him playing that way with something less than nines. Although he's done it to me two or three times, so we'll we'll keep that in mind. I think that's the second time he's done that. Uh, three times would be too much of a coincidence. All right, I went through a couple of hands. I forgot to turn the mic on. and just made a wonderful bluff. I had a gut shot, and the king came out. Overcard came out. I bet it, and the uh, player folded. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fold this. Uh, but I was so excited, I forgot to turn the mic on. Okay, on the upper left-hand corner, I've got King Jack suited. I raised it under the gun, which is uh, really awful. But uh, if I get, okay, I get one caller. Okay, I've got position on one caller. I have lots of callers, uh, but not enough hearts and not enough kings. And uh, just get rid of it. King nine, probably not going to do anything with that. It's not good enough. Certainly not going to call a raise with it. Uh, four seven, be a check fold. Probably nothing to come of that. All right, I'm going to sit out here for a minute and go get myself a cup of coffee because I am nervous. <laughs> and coffee calms me down, right? Okay, I'll be back in a minute. All right, got my coffee, and now I'm back. It looks like I'm under the gun on both tables. How about that? All right, right off the bat, we got ourselves a suited king nine, which out of position we can fold and not worry about. And uh, have big slick on the bottom here, so we'll bet the heck out of that. Oh, gosh, look at that. <laughs> he folds. Man, that's terrible. Now, bet there's a bunch of razors this time. Where were they the last time? There we are. See, now where was this guy the last time? All right, looks like this table has broken up up here, so uh, go ahead and deal myself out there. Um, didn't, didn't want to do that. So I'm going to have to find a new table for here. In the meantime, I can uh, safely fold that there. So let me find another table. All righty, uh, big raise. I'll go ahead and fold that and see what I, where I'm at here. Okay. Okay, it looks like I have all new people at the upper left table here. Not a soul that I have a single number on. So that's kind of interesting. Fold that out and uh, fold that out. So, yeah, not a single one of these people has numbers. So it is Friday, so oh my goodness, here we have a nice 
set a queen queen which we will uh, okay I check for all that and I will go ahead and raise that up to 14 and eight top pair make a pot size bet down here uh, I got one collar here so I'm going to go ahead and make a pot size bet here because I don't like that Go ahead and overbet it. If he wants to draw, he's going to have to really pay up. Now that that little eight there just didn't do much for me. So he's checking. He's check, I'll just oh that's that's ugly. That's ugly. Uh, check it down. Ah okay. King eight. Call fifteen. Ace fell. Nope. Can't do it. Queen two. Fold that. See, I can keep up with these guys. <laughs> Okay, going to raise uh, Raggy four six just for just for drill. And uh, okay, oh, got one caller. There's no doubt I have the worst hand, but I'm going to go ahead and bet it anyhow, just because he doesn't know I have the absolutely worst possible hand in all the world. <laughs> Fold that, no problem there. And this is a check on the upper left hand corner, uh, which didn't turn into anything yet. Could get a runner runner straight out of it. Could get a runner runner flush too, but I wouldn't be very proud of it. Okay, we have ace jack in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and raise that to 14. I have ace 10 on the bottom underneath. I'm going to go ahead and raise that to 14. Have king 8, which I'm going to fold. And ace 10 works out. Okay, I got king queen suited in the big blind. Terrible position. I'm going to go ahead and just check it down. Uh, <clears throat> now I've done, I'm out of position. And check it around. Uh, fold this guy. Obviously, if somebody's got a maybe if somebody's got a flush draw, they'll go ahead and bluff at it. That was a pretty good flop for me. I'm going to go ahead and bet it now. I checked it in order to generate a little deception, and now I'll go ahead and bet it. And if he if he bets, I will raise it because he may be betting a semi uh, bluff on a on a flush draw of some sort. So I'll definitely raise him if he bets. It looks like he's going to time out. Okay, we're going to bet 16. I, I wish I wish there was more money in the pot to make a bigger because he's got odds. I mean, of course, if, if the board pairs or a king comes and he gets his flush, he'll be sorry. But again, my only hope is that somebody. Uh, Okay, nobody had anything. So what do we got going up here? I got a uh, ace two, but uh, one singled up on a raised pot. No way. I'll probably I'll probably try to. Oh, I'm not going to call that. I'm not going to call that either. Okay, we have a ten ten down here. So go ahead and bet that. I will re-raise it if somebody plays back. They didn't. Okay, now this is an ugly little thing. I'm going to go ahead and take a free card if I can get it. That's the card I wanted. That's the card I wanted. Oh, I'm going to fold that. Uh, I'm going to bet 38 in the $30 pot. You can't hardly read the numbers. I think that's a 38 into a 30. Ah, he folded. Oh, I tell you, these people are folding fools. King 2, fold it. I had King 10 suited up here. There was two people in the pot. I could have... Uh, never came about, but I uh, could have called that. Uh, well, probably one of the things that playing multiple tables does is keep me out of trouble since... Uh, if I'm involved somewhere else, I'll throw away 
any hand that's not really a, a lead pipe cinch for call or a raise. All right, I was in the big blind here. I've got the second pair. I'm going to go ahead and bet it. Uh, I'll definitely get a call from a weak ace, no doubt. Uh, yeah, there you go. See? Or strong queen. I'll go ahead and call his little raise, though. Just peel one off here. I'll go ahead and check it and uh, let him... Let him do whatever he wants to do here. Uh, he could be doing that with a 10. I'll go ahead and call and play with him, yeah. King Jack. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> oh, that was a good hand. Oh, boy. Okay, down here, I'm in the big blind with a 5-6 with, uh, oh, boy. No, but I certainly won't call that. So that, uh... Was a little bit of a calling station up here, but he could have been done doing that mess with almost anything. Fold here and probably fold here too, just because I don't feel like getting involved with too many marginal hands. Okay, I got 4-4 four, four up here in the lower upper left hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and I'll just call that. There's no real reason to raise it at this point. Besides that, I wouldn't mind a couple more callers coming along here. And, uh, okay, didn't get much. I'm going to check behind. Uh, that wasn't much of a f two, three, four. That's no good. I don't, don't like this. Let's go ahead and check it. Now you had five, five. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, got nine eight suited. I'm gonna go ahead and raise this. Um, pretty decent hand. Uh, get one caller, so that means I'm screwed in position. Uh, I'm gonna check behind, let him bet, and uh, go ahead and uh, bet my twenty five out, and see if he folds or raises or does whatever he does. And I take it down. And how about that? Oh, King Ace. My, my. Okay, let's go ahead and raise that up to 15 under the gun. Uh, okay, another caller. Check fold that. Well, this is good. I don't mind a whole bunch of people in the pot. Uh, it'll be a big pot, and if I get the King or Ace, I'll push. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and check it down and uh, see if we can get, uh, I'm going to check it down again. I mean, I'll call if somebody tries to steal it. God dang. Jeez. You know, any pair beats me. This, I, get, I get three, all kinds of free cards. And, uh, and God dang it. I guess that was weak. I don't know. Kept hoping I'd hit something so I could, you know, get busy. Okay, we have uh, a pair of queens down here, so I have to go ahead and raise that. And we can get out of this guy so we can fold it. Dead gum at that. Yes, can. I guess I should have bet it, but, uh, oh boy. Mr. Buddy, you're going all in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bet 50 so that he's pot committed. Pull that. He has to push all the way or get out. One of the two. Uh, he doesn't have the straight, obviously. Don't care what else he has. Oh, okay, there we go. That's, that's what I wanted, unless he had a 10. Okay, we're good. Oh, wait a minute, what am I talking about? I had a full house there. What do you have? H-Jack? Oh, he didn't have Doodle. 3-9, uh, full that. Ah, wake up. I am doing a horrible no-no here. I've limped as 9-8 suited. Figuring somebody, okay, well, there you go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to now bet this 9-8 suited. Just bet the pot. I mean, I've got, after all, I do have a pair. <laughs> He's got over cards, he'll call. All that, don't need nothing there. There. 
See, limping pays out. Right. <laughs> Check for all this. All right, looks like this table here is getting pretty short. So I'm probably going to, uh, unless somebody, a couple of people sit down here pretty quick, I'm going to go ahead and blow this. In fact, I'm going to blow this video. I mean, I'm going to blow this whole thing off because uh, uh, this is probably long enough. I'm going to go ahead and make it, see how it turns out, and uh, we'll come back and, and try this again uh, later. So I had one, one table that was pretty bad, one table did pretty good at. And uh, overall, uh, so I'm going to sit, sit out here. I don't feel like fooling with this anymore. And uh, leave this table. Yep, you want to get up and leave the table. And I want to get out of this hand, get out of here, get out of here. Leave the table. Okay. All right, I'll make this video and... Uh, it's just for a real quick drill here, see what we ended up with. We ended up with we're 100 bucks up on this session between the two tables. I guess that's better than poking the eye.